fear. You see, every time an attack involving ISIS or other groups claiming to be rooted in Islam, uh, local Muslims are caught up in the fight that they really didn't start. The latest instance, a hate-filled email to Omaha's local Islamic center. WOWT 6 News' Don Granice has the story. It seems every time there's an international terror attack, something happens here, whether it's graffiti on the wall behind me or this door behind me being vandalized. This Islamic center is targeted. You want us to apologize? You want us to come down? That, that doesn't work. The best we can do is educate. Let's, let's know each other. The people at the Islamic Center don't believe anything they've done has provoked what has happened to their place of worship. And sometimes people are afraid to come even to the center. So we have to kind of talk to them and give them confidence. Back in November, after the attacks in Paris, the Peace for Paris Eiffel Tower was painted on a wall. And in January, the front door was covered in bacon. As video surveillance shows, those vandals also throw rocks at the door. Families come over, men, women, children, uh, and if a threat of violence is there regarding a center, it is very concerning for the leaders of the community. The latest threat is an email sent to the center anonymously that stated, quote, your so-called peaceful religion just killed more innocent people. We think it is now time to fight back, starting with you. Believe it. See you in hell. And why do you do this? I mean, is this something, we did something wrong? It... One man who worships at the center about five times a day and lives right next door has cameras on their home, just in case. He'd rather see people come together. If I go, all right, you know, everybody's bad. No, what's the point? You're not there for that. So, again, as a community, you have combine everybody, you have to be patient, and you should welcome everybody. The Islamic Center is already doing much of that. Every second and fourth Saturday of the month, they hold open houses for people to come and learn about their faith and worship. When the people get together, when they get educated, when they know us, when they talk to us, then that fear will go, and then that will be a good step ahead. Today, the Council on American Islamic Relations, or CARE, called on the FBI and state law enforcement authorities to investigate the email. Matt, Jessica, the center already reported everything to federal and local law enforcement, and they hope the person who sent that threat can be identified. All right, thanks for the live report, Don.